What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm bringing you a Corel Draw tutorial on how you can insert an image into a font. Um, this might be useful if you want to create a cool logo and you want a beach background inside your font, which is pretty cool. You can also do like a confederate flag inside a font and do it that way. Um, I'm also going to do another step and show you how to vectorize that font so you can actually cut it out using cardstock or vinyl or something like that. Because um, personally, I get a lot of requests for confederate flag fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do all that fun stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, now for me, since I don't have an image yet, I'm going to go ahead and go to Google. And then up at the top, I'm going to type in confederate flag. And then might as well open up Corel Draw while I'm at it. And go to images okay um, so now like I said I'm doing a vectorized art form of it so I don't want any wavy designs I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a standard one right here this should work just fine go ahead and save as save okay go ahead and let my Corel draw open up and create a new page okay um, so once that happens I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that right into there and then push P uh, shift scroll over and go ahead and widen that out like that um, don't worry about the stretchiness it won't look that bad when you actually put the font on top of it because so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this little text tool right there and I'm gonna type in rebel and bold that out just like that uh, so once that's done, drag this on the font and stretch that out like, oops, like that. Okay, like, right. Let's do that right there. Um, so once that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and push P again, and it's gonna center it. Um, so now it's centered. Um, both of them are. Um, so within each other. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the background image. In my case, it's the flag. And I'm going to go up to objects, then uh, power clip at the top, and then place inside frame. Now what this is going to do is going to copy it to the font. So if I want to go ahead and select the font, done. Um, see now that it's inside the font. So that's basically how you can make a cool logo using a image. Um, and you can place it directly inside the font, which is pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go a step further for people that want to cut vinyl like I do or cardstock and all that fun stuff so yeah um, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select that and go up to bitmaps convert to bitmap and go black and white because since we're going to cut using vinyl or cardstock um, we don't really care what color goes into the machine because it's just going to cut it out whatever color we put into the machine so I'm going to go ahead and select OK and then I'm going to go back up to bitmaps and outline trace okay so now it's actually doing the trace and when you're happy with the way it looks and you can adjust it using these knobs here um, to get a different kind of section and stuff like that when you're happy with that you can go ahead and select okay okay so now you can drag that over and drop it and delete the original okay and now you're ready to basically go ahead and cut it because if we go to view wireframe as you see it's ready to cut now to get rid of this we can go to objects group ungroup to get rid of these uh, boxes just like that um, so now the boxes are gone um, then we can, if we wanted we can go back and group them all together and go ahead and cut this in our machine and it should give us the cuts that we want to go ahead and put three colors on it to make it a confederate flag type font so if you do like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. There will be more videos in the future. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, peace.